At this time, ladies and gentlemen, kindly please settle down. Our next speaker will be the AP PAC board member, Asif Chaudhary. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, can we please get a round of applause for Asif Chaudhary? Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming here tonight. Before I begin uh, my speech, I really need to make some thanks. First of all, Nahid Bhatti, Rahila, and Sitora uh, did a wonderful job to put together this event. And I would like everybody to give them a round of applause. I would like to welcome uh, Congressman Andy Carson for coming tonight, Ambassador Azaz Chaudhry, and Consulate General Raja Ali Ajaz. Thank you for coming. And there's a one person that I really want to thank you, who is behind all this, what we see here, APPAC, and that is our chairman, Dr. Ajaz Ahmed and Sabah. Thank you. Thank you for your leadership, your generosity, and your hospitality. I have known Dr. Ajaz for last 15 years. And there are many things to talk about him. But one thing which I really admire, that he always try to be a part of the solutions and never, ever be a part of the problems. That's one thing I admire the most. APPAC has started the journey of change. And we know change does not come easy or quick or overnight or within a year or five years. Change is generation's work which we have started. And we are going to be a very small part of change's long journey. Mr. Chairman, we are here tonight to bring once again the message of APPAC to our community. That there is only, only one way to achieve our goals, that if we can come out of shadow of fear and be a part of the main stream. Because this is about our future, and this is about the future of our children in the United States of America. Maybe some, they ask this question that why we are doing this now. But one thing I can tell you, because now we have more yesterdays than tomorrows. And that's why we need to catch up. We are so behind. Because every community in this country has gone through this, what we are going through now. And we, are, we can assure you that in the future, we will overcome with all these issues which we are facing now. Because what makes America great is not its ethnic identity, but it is the ideals of the founding father 
of this country. And whenever we betrayed those ideals, that became the darkest chapter of our history. All of a sudden, we have a past, and the past is bad. As Congressman knows about this past, that it was a crime to be late night on the streets. It was a crime to be on the other side of the city. It was a crime to sit on a bench where it's written white people only. And it was a crime to drink a water from the tap where it's written white people only. But we overcome. This is the great country and we are so thankful what we achieve here. I don't have the words to say thank you enough what this country has done for me and for all of us. Sometimes I even break down when I think of all the blessings we have given. And tonight I also request everybody please become a member of APPAC because this is about our future. And we know, united, we are stronger. And let me finish with one sentence, what John F. Kennedy has said long ago, that ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Pakistan, and God bless United States of America.